uh, the formerly durable Kristoff uh, Jutko has been stopped with punches in two of his last three bouts. Does the heavy-handed Mark Andre Baralt place the Polish fighter back on the chopping block? Um, hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, Jocko's a good fighter, eh? and you don't want to, you know, write anybody off, especially he's only 29 years old. He's still from a very good team. Um, and he won his last fight against uh, Len Amadovsky Am Am at the Overeem Olympic uh, card that we mentioned uh, you know, earlier in the show. I mean, he's lost since he got knocked out by Tavares and Uriah Hall. There's a lot of really good fighters that that's happened to. Hell, Gegard Musasi got knocked out by Uriah Hall. So there's not a lot of shame in that. Um, yeah, I don't think it's an indictment on his skills or anything like that. Does Baralt uh, place him on the chopping block? Well, yeah, I, if he loses. But anybody who, who's lost more, from, and I'm going back to his record, I mean, he lost three in a row before this recent win. Also, another loss was to David Branch and a split decision. He's losing the good fighters. Uh, he lost, he, and that put him at three out of four. Yeah, that's always a tough spot to be in. But um, if he loses, you know, if he loses by TKO or not knocked out again, then, yeah, you got something to worry about. But until further notice, I'm not writing him off as maybe Chinny or uh, – on the choppy block just yet. Yeah, I, I wouldn't quite write him off as, as someone who's done for the for the sport. Uh, but I can say that he's probably on the chopping block mm -hmm. um, with, with this fight. So granted, he did win his last one, but uh, being finished twice in a row before that and not being a name that that many people really know of or, or care about all that much. You know, I don't I don't think it's going to bode well for him, because if you're getting if you're getting knocked out by Brad Tavares, um, if you're getting knocked out by Uriah Hall, who, while they are recognizable guys and, and guys we respect, they're essentially gatekeepers at this point. Um, they're, they're guys who who aren't exactly knocking on the door for a title shot. So if you're losing to them and then you lose to a guy who, as of as of right now, does not have a Wikipedia page, which Sounds kind of silly, but that is a good indicator of how, you know, how entrenched a guy is in the MMA landscape is if they have a Wikipedia page, determine it can tell you like where they kind of stand in the world. Um, I don't think the UFC has a reason to keep him around. And then on top of that, I don't think he really would want to stick around a, a name like Christoph Jekyll, who's a Polish fighter, uh, would probably get a good offer from KSW. Fight in fight closer to home. Mm -hmm. Fight with a Polish-based organization and fight in stadiums. You know, and probably for more money than the UFC would offer a guy who is like fringe top fifteen at this point, or fringe top twenty, really. Um, if if you're if you're losing to to Hall and Tavares, so yeah, man, I I don't think he's long for the organization, especially if he loses on Saturday.